I grew up Catholic, was raised Catholic, uh, went to Catholic school. And you know, that gave me a foundation in the faith, but I started to fade from the faith as I went to high school. And I started doing the things that the world told me would make me cool amongst my peers, amongst my friends in high school. And so by my junior year, that led me into, you know, going to parties on the weekends, drinking alcohol, uh, using drugs. And that only intensified as I continued to get older. So senior year of high school, I was partying every weekend, using marijuana and other drugs consistently. And of course, giving into lust consistently every day. And when I went to college, that only got worse. I joined a fraternity and that lifestyle was just toxic in terms of, you know, my spirituality. The drinking got worse, the drug use got worse, intensified. And by the time I got out of college, it was pretty severe, those things. I could not resist those temptations because I didn't have a life with Christ. And those temptations really decided how I lived my life. I start my job after college and work was not going well. I wasn't making the money I thought I was going to be making. My lifestyle outside of work on the weekends was as it had been those previous years. Partying every weekend, drinking alcohol excessively every weekend, blacking out to the point of not remembering what I was doing those nights. Using marijuana every single day, using harder drugs when I'm partying, uh, living a life of lust. It became too much. I was starting to realize how unhappy I was. My unhappiness was just so apparent. Towards the fall of 2018, my younger brother, who was my best friend, decided he was going to join the seminary. And I knew, you know, he was tending that way because he was really taking his faith seriously at that point in our lives. And during this time, he really was coming to me and he was telling me, you need to start taking your faith more seriously. I can see your unhappiness. You know, you need to be going to Mass every Sunday. You need to be going to confession. And of course, I didn't want to hear that. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to do it all on my own. I don't want to do those things. I want to keep living my life. Even though I was unhappy, I didn't think that was the solution, of course. And as my brother was, you know, pushing these things on me, as he rightly was supposed to do, I would start to pray the rosary now and then because he would ask me to pray with him. And I learned how to pray the rosary with him. And there was one time in about December of that year that I had gone to confession and I went to the priest and confessed those sins. And then the next week I went back with the same sins and I ended up having the same priest. And the priest tells me, which really stuck with me since then, that you need supernatural assistance. And you know, we all know that, but hearing that come from him and the deliberate manner in which he told me that really kind of struck my soul and really kind of opened my eyes to the changes I needed to make. And I made a promise to myself that I would just start praying the rosary once a day. And I started to see gradual improvements in my life. The temptations were still there. I was still, you know, doing some of those same things, but they were less frequent. Temptations were somewhat subdued, but obviously I'm still coming at me and I was still having to deal with them. So all of these temptations came to a head when I started going on dates with this one girl and we started hooking up. And the week after we had started hooking up, I was having these constant thoughts of hooking up with this girl every five minutes, constantly thinking about that, of doing those things with her. It was incessant. It was unnatural. It wasn't like anything I had experienced in the past. If this was different, this wouldn't stop. You know, I'd be at work at my computer and I couldn't stop thinking about doing these things. I later found out these were actually diabolical obsessions, that the devil was literally playing tricks in my head. I didn't really know what to do. You know, it seemed unnatural, but I didn't really know the answer of getting this to stop. And that next weekend, I actually talked to my little brother and told him what was going on. He advised, you know, you might want to start praying the rosary four times a day. But he said, just try it for seven days. Try praying the four rosaries for seven days straight and see what happens. And so I was like, okay, fine, you know, I'll do it. He had always told me that there is a grace we get from praying four rosaries a day as opposed to one or two. Because there's four mysteries of the rosary, if you pray all four in one day, there's graces we receive. And he kept stressing to me that it would change my life. And I thought that was a bit much. I didn't you know, totally believe him. I thought that was somewhat nonsense. But I told him, okay, I'll do the four rosaries a day. I'll do it for a week. And so I did that four rosaries a day. That was May 10th, 2019. And I have not stopped praying the four rosaries every day since. And it's entirely changed my life as my brother had told me it would. Those temptations, that diabolical obsession stopped. Yes, I still have temptations here and there, but I'm much more readily equipped to deal with them. And that's because of the graces that I've received by praying those four rosaries every day. Because of that, I have not stopped praying four rosaries every day. And I don't plan on ever stopping. It's like Mary orders your mind 
Your perspective and the way you view the world and the things in it changes. It has made me want to do the things that I didn't seek to do prior. It has made me want to go to Mass, which I didn't want to do at all before. It has made me want to go to confession consistently. It has made me want to go to adoration and spend time with the Blessed Sacrament. I have started a group with friends that are roughly my age, that I've grown up with, that I used to party with in high school, that I partied with in college, that know who I was prior to me converting back to the life with Christ. And I've started this group with them because I want them to come back into communion with Christ. It gives you that desire to reach out to others so that they can live this same life and see these same benefits and ultimately change their life for the better with the end goal of the salvation of their souls. As I've heard before, the rosary is the key that opens all the doors. And I've seen that in my life in every way. So I just urge everyone that if they're dealing with any temptation or they want to grow in their faith, the rosary is the key. I'm not here sitting here telling you to pray four rosaries every single day right away, but at least start with one, hopefully working towards praying the four every day because it will change your life. Sometimes the addictions we have are more than just natural addictions. Sometimes there are evil spirits that are trying to make our addictions and our situation worse. And if that's the case for you, you need supernatural help. The problems that I struggled with every single day, the temptations that I faced every single day, are plaguing men everywhere in this country and everywhere in the world. So if the rosary worked for me and changed my life, it can definitely work for you, and it will. I hope you enjoyed that short sample from a much larger project entitled Testimonies of the Rosary for Men. I'm excited to share it with you and I can't wait till it's done because there are some extraordinary testimonies that I am confident are going to inspire you to pray the rosary more faithfully. Also, check out the website, truefaith.tv. It's got extraordinary content. It's got lessons. It's got presentations, all for free. God bless you. God love you. And we'll see you soon.